<laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Indy, she is Vanessa. Today, which is the same day for us, but not for you guys, is part two of our uh, build for Lego set 80036, the Monkey Kid City of Lanterns. Probably gonna say it wrong at some point, so I'm not looking directly at it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, so part one, you saw uh, bag one through four. We are continuing on from there. <clears throat> Today's episode will be bag five through eight. And uh, if we take a quick look here at our little, see if I can actually see this. Okay, cool. So if we take a look here, you can see that bag five will continue some more of the track and uh, the side over here. Uh, six will complete the track. Seven will be making the pigsy tram, train, whatever. And uh, bag eight will finish off the top of the tram area and the little lobster shop over here. Um, so basically what that means is this bag eight will kind of finish up the base of the platform, I believe. Yeah. So, actually I should look at that. I don't know if the, yeah, it looks like you will be adding the karaoke shop down here. Okay. And I'll be doing whatever else, Pacey train stuff. Yeah. But that's where we're at. Uh, so far, pretty much like in the build. I mm -hmm. think you're like in the build. Yeah. We should be watching the bear, but here we are. What can we do? <laughs> we'll, we make content for you guys. <sighs> it's dedication to the craft. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to continue from there. On bag five, uh, let's do this. Yep.
Okay, and that's going to do it for the first half of the City of Lanterns. All in all, I think the um, last four bags there, bags five through eight, were all pretty good. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that I really didn't like enjoy. Uh, but the first and most obvious thing <laughs> we're going to talk about is, I mean, come on, Pacey Train. Very cute. This thing is so cute. I love it. And, like, you do have the ability to kind of, like, change the eyes and make him look more derpy or not. We probably could if we wanted to flip mm -hmm. the train so the graffiti side is facing out. Yeah, we could probably just swap it so it is. Yeah. Um, but on that note, there's a little bit of, like, an Easter egg for you guys. Where if you look through, we'll push it right into the middle. You can see one of the doors on the Pixie Train has been graffitied and he uh, was given a mustache and I think that's some spiders or flies or something, you know? Yeah. Um, but all in all, like Pixie Train is great. Like, yeah. I, was, I was just sitting here while she was building, I'm just like, ah, yes, this is fun. It is fun. It's really smooth. Yeah, it, like, work, it works it, really well. It works very well and it's nice because these are the roller coaster cars. Yeah. Um, but we haven't, as far as I know, like seen really built up roller coaster cars where they have like a big... Mm -hmm. sort of base around it and and you see that like these little wedges here in the middle of the middle car they like they look like they connect like a little piece of like rubber or whatever like seal yeah. would connect and i think that's like a really nice touch yeah. on, on our little pixie train and if you want to push it back the other way uh it does have the face on this side as well yeah so it doesn't matter really which direction you choose to go with it you still mm -hmm. always get a cute pixie yeah. front so very cute we have our very cute karaoke studio down here. It is, indeed. Wands, rainbow light pillars, cute star. Yeah, it was really funny because like I, when we were talking about it when we first started, I pulled out the wrong bag. And it was the bag for the karaoke <laughs> section. And she was just like, I want to build with the big star. <laughs> scooter rental spot yeah which is which is really, really cool cute. and the scooter like you can you can just pull it off of here and it like unfolds flips up i really like how they just use the little dots for the wheels it's pretty mm -hmm. nice and you have the panda store yeah advert back there very cool we have our cool lobster up here yep we do have our cool lobster but before we get to our cool lobster there's one thing so these stairs are the stairs that will lead up to your kind of pigs you trade access mm -hmm. Um, this is really cool because this is that throwback to the old monorail sets, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. um, that's nice. Okay. However, under the stairs, this feels very Harry Potter closet. Yeah. You know, like it's cool that they have something. Yeah. But like it's just one thing, and I wish I knew more about like this little piece. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, it's got like some foods on it, some nice little decoration. But like it's just kind of sitting here by itself. I wonder if it's supposed to be like a litter. I don't think so. I don't think that made is very, nice. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's really nice, right? Um, this kind of whatever, but also, I mean, it is what it is. There's going to be some spots. You need you know? stairs. You do. You need stairs. Well, it's nice that they do actually have uh, cohesive stairs for this set, too. Yeah. Just like how they do with the modular line, they usually have a legitimate way for, you know, minifigs to get between floors and do all that. Mm -hmm. It's not just... Yeah, you just take the floor off and they magically teleport up. Yeah. Um, so these stairs do kind of like have the, the vibe where they connect to the Pixie Train. And I know the buildings on the other side, the Pixie Train basically runs to this side. Mm -hmm. And there's a set of stairs here that comes up to this mm -hmm. sort of row yeah. of stuff on it. Yeah. Um, but you got to put together our nice little lobster dude up here. Yeah, I did. It's very cute. It is. Wild claws. I like that he has his hot dogs. I know. Hot dog whiskers. Hot dog whiskers. But his arms are kind of like nice and poseable too. You can kind of Yeah, they're like, the ball joints. Yeah, they are. And you can kind of like rotate them around as well. Yeah. The sticker on there is pretty fun too. Yeah, it is. And I like the use of like the little lightsabers on the sides. Yeah. You know? I was just like, ooh, what are these for? Yeah, right? But neat. all in all, um, I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's a little touch. Home. Yeah, our little, our little lobster dude's very nice. And you have, it's kind of like a little lobster restaurant basically. Yeah. So, you know, all in, he's super cute. He has a little chef's hat, it's adorable. Yeah. They have a little minifig inside the lobster costume mm -hmm. on the sign. And uh, like I said, Snap over here is a, another uh, throwback to an older Lego series, not theme, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. So, just interesting that they're including a bunch of that stuff. It's kind of nice, you know? Yeah. Uh, Cause they don't have to, obviously. Yeah. But it, it takes a piece, like, it's kind of silly because it's just this one little thing, but, like, that's super open and kind of whatever. Yeah. And they're like, oh, cool, we add this one little, like, detail, and it looks great. Yeah. So, um, that's pretty much it for the first book. That is all of the bags for that one. 
Next up, we're going to move into the second book. It has um, basically all the storefronts. So uh, the noodle shop, I think there's a photo booth right here. Mm -hmm. um, the Lotus Hotel, the Lego store, <clears throat> and the um, Panda store. Mm -hmm. So I guess I could have just looked directly at the picture that's in front of me it to remember everything. Sense. It's fine. It does, you're right. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, actually, also real quick. So far, we've built our little train conductor dude. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to put him in there. I mean, obviously, you just take the top off and you throw him in. But he doesn't have, like, a spot to necessarily stand, I feel like. Maybe you could have him, like, stairs. Yeah. Let's see if we can actually... Check-in tickets. Yeah, there's not really... Because it's a smooth um, tile in there. Yeah. So we can't get him to necessarily stand. But yeah, we could just kind of put him if he falls down the stairs. Breaks every bone in his body. It was a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Um, these guys are kind of hard to count as minifigs. They're very cute. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But like calling this a minifig, I mean, it's brick built. It's not quite, yeah. you know. But for now, we're going to shove him right there. I love Pigsy. <laughs> I know. Pigsy's so great. He has his nice little backpack with his little sriracha and probably sesame oil. A couple little pans. His little like war uh cooking <laughs> outfit he has his nice like dirty chef's jacket you know mm -hmm. the only thing that's kind of sad is um when you have his backpack on you can't see the really nice printing that's on the back of him yeah which matches obviously his dirty chef's jacket mm -hmm. uh, but he does have his little pigsy war vehicle i don't know what this is called <laughs> i'm not going to pretend like i do because i haven't gotten that far yet so i don't know yet <laughs> but uh you can stand him in there and you can put his little backpack on the back here and of course we have monkey kid Obviously with his scroll and compass looking for something uh, to do with the lotus flower on top of the lotus hotel. Because you can kind of see it on the little map in there, you know? Mm -hmm. And of course he has the monkey king staff attached to his back, which is nice. Yeah. So, all in. All in, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's good so far. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah. now I have to wait a week until I can build the rest of it. I'm sorry. I will be sad. I told you. Tears will just flow from my eyes. That's how it goes. <laughs> Save them, we're in a drought. We're not in a drought anymore. We're always in a drought. We're not in a drought. It's getting worse. But anyways, uh, unless you have anything else that you particularly liked, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, so uh, good. This stuff was good, but I just know the rest of it's gonna be like so much better. Yeah. You know? And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the build. So that's gonna do it for this one though. Uh, we will be back soon. Yes. Uh, like I said, we will end up tying all these together, so you could just watch a big, long time-lapse build, and that's it. No talking, none of that stuff. You don't have to listen to us at all, mm -hmm. which is probably good for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let us know down below. Give us some comments. Talk to us. Tell us, did you build this? Do you like this? Do you think the Pigsy train is amazing? Because it is. Do you go graffiti side out or graffiti side in? That's very fair, yeah. That, that's, a good, that's a good question. Do you make him... Have his little eyes look kind of inward, mm -hmm. or do you make him look kind of googly and weird like this way instead, you know? You know. But uh, let us know what you guys are up to. Yeah. Tell us a story. Yes, leave us some stories. Just leave us some nice long stories. Tree. Wholesome stories. Wholesome stories. Not weird stories. Not sad stories. <laughs> but that's going to do it, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Yep. All right, bye guys. Bye.